Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Rachel. I'm a massive Eurovision fan and a musician. And today what I'm gonna be doing is something I've been so excited about, is looking at a quick recap and my first ever listen to all of the songs for UMK this year, which is Finland for Eurovision 2022. I've been holding off on listening to any of these songs, especially when I heard that the Rasmus, the freaking Rasmus are participating. I was like, okay, I need to react to this live. I cannot listen to anything. So I've completely, I'm so excited, honestly. And we're gonna have a little listen to the recap. I'm gonna give you my thoughts as to who I think they should send to Eurovision, which songs are stronger, which ones maybe aren't a choice to go to compete. And let me know down below in the comments what you think, who do you think they should send to Eurovision and which ones are your favourite. But let's get straight into this. Thanks to Mitsuya Eurovisia once again for their video on YouTube, which I'm going to be reacting to. Let's go and watch. Oh my God. Okay. Just like a Oh. Ah, Hayley Williams. Oh my God. Whoa, I love that. What are they called? Hurricane by Siam Kicks. Oh my God, that was so Paramore-esque, but not like a copycat, obviously. But her vocals, I love that jump in the octave, the screamy vocals. Whoa, that was so cool. Yeah, I'm putting that on my list. I'm putting that on my list. Okay, carry on. So I'm blown away, literally. Oh my God. <laughs> mm, this has got a good vibe. Ah, oh, interesting. Okay, so that one had a cool vibe to it. Ram Pam Pam by Bess. I think this one was more understated. It had a nice kind of Eurovision-esque beat about it. It seemed to be an interesting storyline going on in the music video. I don't understand the language, so if you're Finnish or you speak Finnish, please let me know down below what this song's about because it seemed very intriguing. Yeah, that one was also really good. Wow, okay. Let's continue because I think next we got the Rasmus and oh my god, I'm actually shaking. I'm so excited. Ooh. 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 This is so cool. Oh my god, okay. The Rasmus. So I'm out of breath. I'm usually quite calm and collected on my channel when it comes to Eurovision. So um, yeah, my heart is going bam, bam, bam like that. Ram, pam, pam. <laughs> uh, sorry, that was cringe. Wow. Okay, that was really good as well. It had a nice hook, Jezebel, and they've got a really good vibe. I mean, this band, shout out to 90s sad kids. Where are my 90s sad kids? Because the Rasmus got us through a lot of stuff. <laughs> Freaking in the shadows was my with my song but yeah this had a good vibe to it i think purely in terms of the band's huge widespread fame and their interesting style and the lead singer has got a really lovely voice as well it's not your typical rock shouty voice it's actually really sweet and melodic and i really like that all those reasons is why they should probably pick this band to go to Eurovision. I need to listen to the whole song, of course, but so far that had a catchy hook and that's what you need. It needs to be immediate to do well at Eurovision, but let's carry on. Oh, lovely voice. Oh, the language is beautiful. Mm. That was more contemporary, had an interesting kind of jazzy feel almost, and the vocals were so nice. The language really married well with the vocal lines. Yeah, that was sort of more middle of the road, but not in a bad way, not in a boring way. I think that was good. But out of everything so far, I don't think that one is one I'd send compared to the other songs. But now we're going to listen to Thank God I'm an Atheist by 
Oliveira. What an interesting title. I'm interested to see what she has in store for us. Oh, impactful. Wow. Okay, that had a very meaningful, obviously, um, principle around it. And overall, I mean, the lyrics are one thing, but also you've got a really nice beat and it's very stirring and emotional. And that's good. That, that would do well at Eurovision, I think. I think that's one to put on a list as well. These are all really good. I can't believe it. <laughs> Never has a national final been so strong. Oh my goodness. Okay, next, we've got another Finnish song by Tommy Lantinen, and I hope I pronounced that correctly because I don't have a clue how to speak Finnish. <laughs> Interesting hair. I mean, the issue with that one, and it was nice, but I think it, it's nothing new. I've seen it all before. He had a nice voice though, and I like how there's kind of a wide range of styles in the selection, but you need to kind of send something eye-opening and new. And unfortunately that one wasn't as grabbing as some of the other songs in this selection, but it was still good and that's commendable. And now we have Kuma Yaba by Isaac Seen. Ooh, very weekend. Oh. It's good looking. Oh, wow. Okay, that one had a very kind of the weekend era right now style, kind of 80s. Michael Jackson reminds me a bit of that. But the Finnish language in that was so cool. Oh my gosh, it worked so well in that kind of synth pop beat. And he had a really kind of sexy voice as well. Okay, that one I'm putting on my list too, because, whoa, I mean, oh, that had a really cool aesthetic. I don't know what to send. I don't know what I would pick, to be honest. I mean, you got the Rasmus, which was really good. This one, Kuma Yamba, was also really cool. I like the vibe of that one. And then you had Hurricane by Cyan Kicks, I believe. I think those are the three that stood out the most to me, but some of these were also really good. Thank God I'm an Atheist was an interesting one too. God, I don't know what to pick. <laughs> They're all really good. I think these, I say like three or four out of these would go to the final. Really strong. So I'm blown away here, <laughs> but let me know what you guys think. Who do you think they should pick and send to Eurovision? What's your favourite, least favourite, that kind of thing? And let me know down below in the comments for that. Subscribe if you haven't already. I make loads of videos to do with Eurovision, so if you're interested in more content, then check out my other videos. And I hope you guys have a good week and I'll see you soon. Bye.